In this video, we'll have a detailed look at the fetch decode execute cycle and the effect it has on the various registers and buses within the CPU. Now we've introduced all these concepts already in previous videos. So if you haven't watched those, we suggest you go back and watch those first. To process data, a computer follows a set of instructions known as a computer program. If we take the lid off a typical desktop computer, we can identify two critical components. The memory that stores the program and the central processing unit or processor, which is under this large fan and carries out the instructions. A computer carries out its function by fetching instructions, decoding them and then executing them in a continuous and repetitive cycle billions of times a second. Let's look at each of these stages in a little more detail. So let's start with the fetch stage. The very first thing that happens is the program counter is checked as it holds the address of the next instruction to be executed. The address stored is then copied into the memory address register. The address is then sent along the address bus to main memory, where it waits to receive a signal from the control bus so it knows what to do. As we want to read the data that's stored in memory address 0000, the control unit sends a read signal along the control bus to main memory. Now main memory knows the data needs to be read, the content stored in memory address 0000 can be sent along the data bus to the memory data register. Now, as we're currently in the process of fetching an instruction, the data received by the memory data register gets copied into the current instruction register. The instruction effectively has now been fetched from memory. Just before we proceed to the decode phase, we now increment the program counter so that the address it contains points to the address of the next instruction which will need to be executed. The instruction now being held in the current instruction register is ready to be decoded. Now as mentioned in one of our previous videos, the instruction is actually made up of two parts. And although you don't need to know this level of depth for the exam, it's worth just going into briefly for completeness. So the instruction is made up of the op code, that's what we have to do. And we have the operand, what are we going to do it to? Now the operand could contain the actual data, or indeed it could contain an address of where the data is to be found. By decoding this instruction, we can see the operation we need is a load operation. So we need to load the contents of memory location 0101 into the CPU's accumulator. So now we've fetched the instruction and we've decoded it so we know what we need to do, we're finally ready to execute it. So we now send address 0101 to the memory address register. Now we're in the memory address register, we can finally send the address down the address bus to main memory. This time we want to read the data that's stored in memory, and so the control unit again sends a read signal along the control bus. So main memory has now received an address and a read signal. So the contents stored at memory location 0101 can now be sent along the data bus back to the CPU and into the memory data register. Finally, the contents of the memory data register are copied to the accumulator. And this is one of a number of general purpose registers found in the CPU. This first instruction is now complete. The start of a brand new fetch decode execute cycle begins, and once again the program counter is checked as it holds the address of the next instruction to be executed. What we've looked at here 
is one complete cycle of fetch, decode and execute, showing how each of the various registers are used and how information travels between the registers, across the buses and to and from the CPU and main memory. Here's a summary of everything we've learnt in this video. Pause it and take some notes. Thank you.